the virtual opening of Drum City featuring the renowned Carmine Apice of Cactus Vanilla Fudge and many others, and Ed Heck, who's extremely well known in New York City and all over the world. They've collaborated, collaborated on a very special show called Drum City. We are very excited to present it here at Stackenberg Greenberg Fine Art Gallery in Sarasota, Florida. We are very sorry that you guys can't be here with us, but we are excited to present it virtually. I'm here with Carrie Greenberg. Yeah, welcome to the gallery, and I'm, I'm, I'm very, very Carrie. happy for both, both uh, Ed and Karma. Yeah, and thanks, so, and Karen. My name is Susan Short. I do the PR and marketing for the gallery as well as promoting the show. And we have Carmine Apice and Ed Hesh. Do you have a few words to say to the guests here, Carmine? I do. Um, Ed's a good friend of mine. And uh, we, we got working together after he, uh, I believe he was at the uh, New York Art Show. And I went to see him and right down the, the, the aisle from him was my friend Paul Stanley from KISS who does artwork. And I saw him doing artwork. So when we were hanging out with, with Ed, you know, my, my girlfriend, the radio chick, Leslie Gold, the radio chick was on the radio, very famous in New York. And, and Ed used to do some drawings for her. And uh, so we went to see him and when we, he saw you know, down the road, you got Paul Stanley, he said, do you do any drawings or paint? And I said, no, re not really, but I can draw drums. You know, my specialty is drawing drums. So I said, maybe we can do a, even a gold album, you know, draw a gold album, I can do that. So we decided to do something. And then Ed, you tell him the rest. Yeah, well, as Carmine was saying, <laughs> as Carmine was saying, I asked them if he, use a computer and he, his response was only for emails. But I said, since you do some sketches of drums, you can scan your drums sketches into the computer and play with colors and stuff. And, you know, not ruin your first, you know, your initial sketch. And he said, well, hey, you want to collaborate? And I was like, sure, of course. I mean, I was a big Carmine fan uh, growing up. And I was like, but I didn't really think anything would come from it. But about a week later, Carmine calls me on the phone and says, hey, what are you doing Friday? I'm coming to your studio. And that Friday, he actually showed up in my studio. I went downstairs to let him in. And he's getting out of his car and he hands me his phone and says, here, you're on the air in Minneapolis. And I was on a radio show in Minneapolis. And the DJ was like, hey, I hear you're doing some artwork with Call Mine a Piece. And I was like, yeah, I guess I am. <laughs> that's funny. And, so and that, first, that's how it started. First day, yeah. Yeah. yeah, the first day he came to my studio and he sat down. We created the first piece that day uh, called Drumhead. It's okay. actually, it's, I have right over here. Oh, oh you I have it too. Yeah. Yeah, I have, I have the larger size. Ah, okay. Yeah. We also have a smaller size here available yeah. at the gallery. That's right. Yeah, and that was the first piece that we uh, created together. Great. So tell us about... Hey, sh show it again. Show, show it again. We didn't see it. Yeah, let me pick this up for you here. No, no, no let's do Edwin. It's bigger. Yeah, okay. there you go. Okay. Yeah, so basically what that is, it's my, my image, which had the sunglasses, I have a logo that looks like that. Yeah. Had sunglasses and, and the mustache. And, uh, and that's a floor Tom Tom that I drew with me in there. And then Ed took it and, and put all the surrounding stuff on it and added all the colors. And that started our way of doing artwork, which was me drawing stuff. He, he then gave me a, a, a notebook and said, if you could make it this big, you know, it was like two inches by two inches and draw it in and then I can project it on my screen and I can outline it and then I can put the colors on. And that's, it started like a whole array of artwork that we did, which includes, I don't know, how many pieces we have now, Ed? 15? Oh, more, more than, a, yeah, at least 15 or so. And yeah. a lot of more sketches that are in the works also. Yeah. And like, and that, that one, the big one on the top was I think the second thing we did and that's called Drum City. Drum City, and, oh, yeah. And, and, so, and it's a city. Have here. Okay, have available one, in the smaller version. Yeah, we have smaller versions, big versions, lithographs. Yeah, the and, one on the wall, wall here is, um, this is the original acrylic on canvas. And what you guys have is the print. 
So what, so what, what sizes do we have them in? Um, the prints come in, um, the large size that I have here is 24 by 30 inches, and the smaller size is 13 by 19 inch paper size. And they look great framed. Why don't you move over to the framed one? Ed? Oh yeah, there's a framed one up here of yeah. Drum City. This is oh, on the 24 fabulous. by 30 frame. Yeah. And, and I have, have, a drum I have one there. back there. Mine That's is back it. there. You know, you can see it. And uh, you got to remember too, they're both, they're all signed and, uh, numbered. and yeah. numbered and there's a limited, of edi limited edition of a hundred of each mm -hmm. style. Right. Yeah. yeah. So then we, we started continuing. So we did Drum City and then we said, well, what else could we do? So I started drawing all kinds of crazy stuff. So I drew Stonehenge, which we call, uh, well, well, he's got the camera on what we call the city bridge, right? Now the city bridge is a drum city, uh, like I thought about New York City, and I drew it with the river down the middle, but the bridge is actually a hi-hat stand from a drum set. Oh, yeah, know, that's with, great. With the symbols on it. Yeah. And then, so I gave that to Ed, and then Ed colorized it and everything, and made the paintings and made the lithographs. But it all starts from a little, a little piece about that big of a drawing. Mm -hmm. You know, and I had you know, he instructed me to make the lines thick so that when he projects it on the on the you know on the canvas, it looks really cool. Yeah. You know, so we did that one, and we got Stonehenge. Do you have Stonehenge, he Karen? Oh, um, I, I could. I could. Oh yeah, he has it. Yeah. Yeah, you have Stonehenge. So so we call it Drumhenge. You yeah. know, because it it's uh, you know, how do I click on it to make that bigger? Can I make that bigger? No, I don't know how to do that. But anyway, uh, so Stonehenge is uh, another one. Then we did the pyramids. We yes. did, uh, you got the pyramids too? There's the pyramids made of drums, you know? And if you look now, really have close. You, uh, this is sort of a, it's like a tour, right? It's like yeah. a rock tour. Have you yeah. played at the pyramids? I never, you know, I never did. I always wanted to go there. Yeah. It's one of the places that I've seen, you know, on, on film and everything. I said, I want to go there. But unfortunately, I have some health issues that preventing me from going that far in the world yeah. anymore because, yeah. uh, you know, I don't want to be uh, that far from a hospital that I know. You know? Right. <laughs> so, well, none of us are so going I'm saying, I'm sticking either. to America. But we can now, live and, vicariously through these paintings. Right? Yes, exactly. Yes. And then we have the one that Ed has on camera there now. The at, Pisa. That was like the Linning Tower of Pisa, which ah, we call it. Uh, we call the Drum Tower. Uh -huh. And oh yeah, the, yeah, smaller. Yeah. That's yeah, and we and Ed's got a bigger one. That's a bigger one there, right, Ed? Yeah, yeah this, this is the original one. That's the, original. That's the canvas. That's, original. Yeah. That's the one on That's canvas, canvas, right? Yeah, and you know it, it's it's funny, you know, because you know when we talked about you know doing this, I said, can you paint? I go, well, I could draw drums. And that's it. And then we came up with this concept and there's really nobody else doing this concept. It's great. You know? And it's, yeah. uh, it's really colorful. And everyone that sees the artwork so far has liked it, but we've never really pushed it. We have sold some product, but we've never really pushed it until now. And now with you guys and, and uh, you know, Carrie and, and the art gallery down, that's going to be awesome. And who might this, particular person be would that be you that there is me if i had my my if i had my sunglasses on yes with the mustache and the hair that that's my version of me <laughs> i love and, it and Ed has another version of me somewhere i have there's it in my a, studio here actually yeah well this is another version of the drum head one the first one we did but this is a right just a close-up and this one again is um you can see this is a a canvas yeah right. original and, that, and we have a larger size, size of this also. That? What is the size on that? This one's 30 by 30 inches, but we also okay. have a, a 48 by 48 inch one. Okay. And again, and I showed this one already. That's a smaller version. Yeah. So yeah. That's, 13 by that's, 19. That's the drum head one. That's just the head without the drum. I mean, right. the one, the well, big sorry, one there is without the drum. Right. That one has the drum. That's and, great. Uh, so, what, uh, what else we got? Yeah, speaking of other versions of Carmine, Carmine was involved with art for a, a long time. <laughs> it was actually the original, the original influence for David uh, by Michelangelo. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, all right. If I was by my drums, I'd go, 
<laughs> you want to see the rest of the statue, though, it's by private invite only. Uh, <laughs> that's funny. And then we have yeah, the and we, we have some other pieces as well that, uh, like, these are the new ones where... Yeah, this uh, is a world premiere, a world yeah. premiere yes, of these lyric premiere. lithographs and lyric yeah. paintings. Tell us about that. Okay, well, I mean, uh, let me tell you about what they are first, and then Ed Please. can tell you how, how we did it. Um, I co-wrote when I was at Rod Stewart, one of his biggest, his very biggest hit he ever had was Do You Think I'm Sexy? And I co-wrote that. I didn't write the lyrics, but I wrote the music and, you know, it became huge, still huge. I mean, on, on YouTube, it has like 150 million views, wow. something stupid like that. I recorded it in different ways on my Guitar Zeus album. I just recorded an instrumental version of a reggae with it. So it's, it's a never dying song. Many other people recorded it. And the other song I, I did with Rod was called Young Turks. And the lyrics to Young Turks are very inspirational, you know? And as you can see there, Ed did versions of it. I, uh, I think you might be able to see it better on Ed's screen. Ed, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And, and Ed, you tell him about, you know, how you did it. At least I just I just took um, Carmine's lyrics and I just I write them out how I I print myself and then do what I do normally with the sketches that I work with on Carmine and then colorize them and then paint them with acrylic on the canvas. But like Carmine said, a lot of a lot of the songs have some great lyrics to them, so it's it's good to like you know show that them. That was especially way. very inspirational, young know, yeah. Freedom. Especially I, now. Time is on your side. Yeah, that was a, yeah. that's a really great message. Versus, do you think I'm sexy? Uh, if you want my body and you think I'm sexy, you know? it's not well, a, that it's inspirational, but it's but it's but it's a it's a fact of life, you know. Right. Yeah, and then and then we've got stuff that we have on drum heads as well. Yeah, which, do you uh, have that? Can yeah. we see that? It has that somewhere. Yeah, it's like a, a mini drum city on a drum head, which is oh, that's fabulous. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, this is on a. a on an actual drum head. Right. So what painted. is the size of the drum head? This is a 15 inch. 15 inch, I was going to okay. say. Yeah, it's like a 15 inch and snare. A, and obviously it's signed already. And, uh, yeah, so this all, is everything we do is, is basically signed. And when they, when somebody gets them, it will be signed. But for me, this is a, it's a lot of fun because, you know, I sit around and like, uh, we, we also did one at, at said, well, what else can we do? And I said, well, how about we do the moon landing? made of yeah. drum, yeah. you know? So then uh, I, I sent him a sketch of the moon landing where we used the, the module was made of a, a drum and the and all the aerials and everyone made of cymbals and weird stuff. And Ed, do you yeah. have that there? Yeah, yeah there, there you go. go. That's, uh, yeah. Where we have that? And that, oh. there's the moon landing yeah. right there. Yeah, we have it, right. Yeah, that's oh, great. You have it too. Yeah, it's got it on the screen. Yeah. So that's your next gig, right? A concert on the moon? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, well, it's not really a concert, but it's as you can see, you know, they, they got the ladder. It's got all the the, the, the and it's all drums. Like just remember that they're all signed. I don't know if you can yeah, see that. Yeah, they're all signed, and but the satellite all signed dishes and numbered at the bottom. And they're yeah, all the special satellite, dishes. The, the satellite dishes are made of the symbol stands. You know, that's great. And uh, so we're really utilizing this whole drum idea. We've got some new ones in the works. Okay. I think we have like the Kennedy Space. Um, uh, what is it? Oh, what the one yeah, the Kennedy yeah. Space. On, yeah, I'm working yeah. on that one now. I'm working on that one. And we got, the, there's the Carmine, uh, condensed version of the Carmine face with the, the mustache. It's not a frown, that's a mustache. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And you were talking about possibly doing a mask. Now that we were into that whole different Yeah, uh, well, well, Ed has yeah. done, Ed has done mass, so when we do our, um, art show down there at your, at your gallery. In the spring. Um, in the spring, where, right. spring. Where, where is it going to be? Where, 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 where is it going to be? Tell the people where. It's going to be at Stackenborg Greenberg Fine Art Gallery on Main Street in downtown Sarasota. There you go. Water. So that's where we're going to be doing that. And Ed's going to make some masks up, you know. So my mask is yeah. going to be just my mustache. So when I put it on, <laughs> I see my masks, eyes right? and, and my mustache. Yes, I actually yeah, maybe. think all of them would be great. As yeah, we'll masks. do some that are similar to this one that could be like with the lyrics on it. Like it could be the wearing lyrics, a, yes. Oh, yeah. Do you oh, think wow. I love that? That's yeah, awesome. Right, right. Yeah. 
We can have a do you think I'm sexy mask. I love it. Yeah, yes. we can't we can't be too successful with that. I would have to I'd have to start paying Rod royalties. <laughs> <laughs> we can alter it a little bit. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Well, how fabulous. Really, really exciting. Super great work. It's so positive. It's so creative. It's such an interesting marriage and it's an interesting offshoot of what you do as an artist, as a musical artist as well. Yeah, and it's artist. great. It's a, it's a cool combination of both really. And, and because Ed is a drummer and his son's a drummer, you know, I've gotten over to the house. I got a drum set for them and, you know, and, you know, we've become really good friends and he's from Brooklyn where I'm, where I grew up and I, I'm from Brooklyn too. I love Brooklyn. And, uh, Brooklyn is hot right now. Brooklyn is like really. Yeah. <laughs> yeah Cause everyone's Big moving out of Manhattan. Yeah. Brooklyn is hotter than Manhattan. Can you believe I'm even saying those words, right? Yeah. 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 <laughs> Hard to believe. So. Hey, I'm just thinking we should do a vanilla fudge. You keep me hanging on lyric. That would yeah, be well, great. Yes, yeah. do it. Send me well, free, why don't you, babe? Get out of my yeah, life, these, why don't you, These are only you, the babe? first two. So yeah. these are only the first two of, you know, we're going to yeah, do some I mean, from, we could your, do, we could from do, Fudge, you know, from Cactus. Yeah, you know. we could do all, all different ones, you know? Fantastic. Awesome. So before we say goodbye, we're going to do a cheers since this is a virtual opening. And we also want to know, are you sitting at your drum set, Carmine? Uh, no, but the drum set is over there. Could you but play it, us? Could you play us out? Could you send us off? I can, but it's going to be very distorted. So okay. I'll, well, I'll try. I'll try. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, Okay, well, cheers to that, and I'm gonna, I'll, I'll go play a little.